John McClellan, who created the Monster of Egypt, had his artistic choices explored in week seven of the Advanced Comic Creation course. Let's take a look at his segment. This is John McClellan. I spoke to him this week. He was heavy into productivity because his book took five years to make. Five years, constantly working on it to get one of his books done. So his quote was, art needs to be done every day, and that takes discipline. Many artists lack the drive to be serious, especially in comics. It's interesting about this style because what he does is he paints his work. This is painted. So he has spent um, a considerable amount of time painting, but what he has also said, he has no problem tracing over reference images. So it's, it's pretty interesting that he'll trace an image to get the proportions right or to get the, the layout right, but then spend all that time trying to paint over it to get it to look a certain way. And that's an incredible approach. The whole thing is Photoshop and just brushes is the style that he's picked. And he wanted to match a style that felt like an espionage type story. As we go through it, he has chosen the same idea where he wants black on the background because he felt that it popped up better. He does the panels first. So he thinks about, he does sketches, little squiggly sketches. He says sometimes he'll even do pencil, but he just got to get the layout in his head and he'll do the whole story in just little scribbles. And then once he can read his whole book in scribbles, he now knows where the story needs to go. Where should they be an action moment? Where should he go with the story next? What do you expect as a reader? That's one of the things we talked about when I said we should be reading our books backwards ourselves. Like read your book back to yourself. Read it. Read it out loud. And have the reader experience of your own book. And that little voice will kick in and say, oh, boy, I don't want to read this section. I want to skip to the other good part. Well, that lets you know for the future where there's a deficiency in the storytelling part because the parts you don't want to read. If you always read your your action scenes, you'll feel that the story becomes lacking if you only read all your action scenes. And that's when you're going to say, okay, I want to read some of the story because it's cool to look at people fighting, but I want to know why they're fighting. What are they doing that's causing all of this to happen? What a great shot. The amount of work and detail that goes into this and again, he, he is not opposed to taking an actual image and tracing over it. You can see the Photoshop on the blur. We've discussed a lot of these techniques. This is the streak here. You know, a lot of these are pattern. You can have pattern brushes. There's a lot of work going on here. But he said, you know, all that matters is you being able to tell your story. Uh, it doesn't matter how long it takes you. It doesn't matter how much work it is. Just that you get it done. And he said he had to work fast because speed was important to him because he needs to have a lot of artwork besides just the book. It needs, pro it needs promotional time. So he makes extra art for promotions. He saves everything that he does. All of that to just to keep the story going and to keep the art engaging so he can keep sharing new images, sharing new pieces and elements. Look at the color work. You know, I'm getting that that agent spy work vibe, you know, the safe, the silencer, the pieces are here. Oh, and uh, some of the graphics are actual images that he'll paint over. So he'll like mix in uh, some uh, computer graphics like video game graphics mixed in with real images and he'll just paint the seam in between them. And we know that technique that will sometimes slip in real images of stuff, real photographs mixed in with our work. But we're about to, you know, well, actually, I think we're still early in his book, so we can still look at some more. Yeah, not, not a good way for the date to end. <laughs> a lot of violence. So he also does a uh, a style, uh, not a style sheet. I forgot what they're called. Um, my, my brain is blanking. It's uh, a character sheet where you render your character out several different angles in different ways so that you can remember what they look like and you make a profile for them. So he says that he'll save that 
and even use that in the book need does he if he needs to just put the reference right on top and even trace over his own stuff so that's pretty cool too that he can replace heads on characters when he needs to So, like most of us, he does this um, part-time, works for an ad agency. So, he's, that's why he knows so much about promotions and showing off the artwork for his book. Oh, shoot, the lens flare, right? The lens flare edition. You guys know about that. The spritey type explosion, the muzzle flash, right? The bullet holes, probably brushwork. A lot of work goes into this. He was even working on uh, his next book while we were talking. He started working. He was still working on his second book. He wanted to show me the second book, but it's not done. So I kind of felt like we can just, we can really understand what he's doing with just this book. So this is enough for us to really have an understanding of his, of his, his approach. It's different. It's very different. Diving through the door. You could tell like the door is closing. Look at that. Right? You've seen this sequence, bullets flying at our main character. Spritey based sparks, you know, Spritey based. And he dances between the two. Very heavy stuff here that we're looking at. A very, very clean style. Painted reference shot, right? Reference. Paint over it. I mean, this isn't new to anyone. I mean, most of us know that a lot of the traditional artists are tracing over 3D assets. You know, a lot of the backgrounds are 3D. So, you know, there has been an overall merger of the style. What's mostly left is the way you render your characters. That's what's been left. But yeah, the dedication and work. So that's Jonathan, uh, Jonathan Fox in The Adventure Monster of Egypt by John McClellan. That is his book. And again, his quote was about every day. You need to be on it every day. Discipline is when I kind of said it becomes a habit, but I think most of us know that. 